What's up guys? Joe at Momentum Watts. Today we're going to talk about the easiest way to 72 volt your Razor MX500, SX500, MX650, RSF650, or any other bike that you might want to electrify that you're looking for a complete electric drivetrain. Stay tuned for the Momentum Works drop-in plug-and-play kits. So while the stock Razor bikes are a ton of fun, after a couple hours, you're going to want more power. And you could definitely do a lot of this yourself. There's all different kinds of controllers. This is a Soshin far driver style controller. You've got Kellys, you've got Midals, you've got all different kinds of different controllers you can use to get more power out of your bike. Some of them are plug and play, some of them require wiring. What we've done here at Momentum Watts is we've kind of taken a lot of the guesswork out and we've created pre-wire kits so that you can drop them right into your bike and get rolling. Now, like I said, you can do all this yourself. We're kind of just offering you a shortcut. So let's talk about the different levels of kit that we offer from just a controller, pre-wired accessories, pre-wired accessories and controller. We can add a motor. We can add a battery. Um, you know, we can really do whatever it is that you want to do. So let's jump in to the pre-wire kit. So guys, at the heart of our kit is the controller. This here is a Soshin controller, very similar to a far driver. Um, uses the far driver app far driver might even make these for social i'm not sure but that part's not important what i want to show you is when you get a controller like this you're going to get a wiring loom like like so that plugs right into your controller that's got all these different you know wires on it for different things like here's your hall sensor plug and then you got all different kinds of assorted ones here's your throttle plug all different kinds of stuff it can kind of be a mess what we've done is we've taken the guesswork out We've tied up all the stuff that you don't really need. And like I said, you can use this. Like this, for example, is a three-speed switch if you wanted to run a three-speed. But all you really need is your hall sensor plug, ignition, and your throttle. So we make it so that you just have three plugs that you have to worry about to get your bike running. Then we also give you the accessories you need. So here's your throttle. Just like this and your throttle is going to plug in and these are only one way so see this is a male and this is a female so then the throttle plugs in just like that and then here's your keyed ignition so this is your off and on and it also has a voltmeter so you can see what kind of battery left you have and boom you plug this in plug this into your harness now you've got everything you need minus a battery and a motor to get running Outside of a controller, you're going to need a motor. So what we have here is a Soshin FW11 Mini. Most of our kits use the regular FW11, but we've got the Mini here to use in an example. And what you'll see on this motor is you have three phase wires, and then you've got your hall sensor plug. So our hall sensor plug is going to plug in directly to our existing harness that we looked at before. Boom. Just like that. Super easy. One plug, and it's done. Now, as far as the rest of the, the wires on the motor, those hall sensors, I'm sorry, those phase wires, what we're going to do is we're going to simply match them up. Blue to blue, green to green, yellow to yellow. So let's go ahead. We'll do a quick time lapse to get that done. Next, we're going to take our battery leads. This battery lead is a QS8. That'll come with the battery that you purchased, whether it's from us or from anybody else. They normally always are included. So let's go ahead and throw this on as well. All right, so in this last step, we did our three phase wires, and we also put our battery lead on. Let's go ahead and take our plug from our motor, our hall sensors, and let's plug it into this existing harness that we had already been talked about earlier in the video. This is the harness that has our throttle and our ignition with voltmeter on it. So we've got that connected. Now let's take our battery lead and let's go ahead and plug it into our battery. And the last step, let's take our big controller plug here and let's plug it into the controller. Now you got to be careful with this. There's a lot of pins here. Boom. We got that in. Pull that down. Now let's go ahead and take our key. Let's flip our key on, see if we've got power. And you can see that we do have power. We're there at 82 volts. And if you hear the controller beeping, the beep, 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 that means the controller's in the self-learning mode because this is a brand new controller. So if we want to go ahead and complete that self-learn, we're going to take our throttle and we just hold the throttle wide open. And you'll see that the motor is going to go forward and backwards 
until it finds its place, and then it'll give another beep telling us that the auto learn or self learn is complete. And that last beep you hear, that's the confirmation that the self learn is complete. So we've got our throttle here, and let's go ahead and give it a couple revs. You can see it's big, plenty of power. Probably have to do a little better tuning on that, but you can see now that we have everything set up. All right, guys, so that about covers it. Realistically, we're talking about three, three, three main components to your electric drivetrain for your Razor models. You're looking at one, your controller, two, your motor, three, your battery. If you've got these three things, they're the three basic crucial parts. And then from there, you're going to need a throttle. You're going to need something about your controller. You're going to need some